Hello, everyone. Thanks very much for uh, coming to attend. Um, we're just going to slip through about six or seven slides on the company. We were here last year, so I'm assuming that uh, people who are interested have uh, already had a look at this. Uh, it is a massive pegmatite that we're looking at, and we do have uh, some important disclosures and disclaimers, two pages, in fact. Uh, we will be making some forward statements, so please take that in mind. Um, We've spent the, the last two years uh, drilling out resources within the, uh, within the area, uh, particularly focusing on one uh, area which was historically mined for tin. Uh, we now have a resource in the order of 400 million tonnes at 1.66%, uh, which we also have uh, over 270 million tonnes in measured and indicated resources. So we're very comfortable with the, uh, the, size, of, uh, the size of the material we have there in uh, defined terms. At $3 a tonne uh, discovery cost, about uh, just under 90, meter, uh, 90 drill holes uh, for 27,500 metres. We completed a 5 million tonne scoping study on the project. Uh, we had uh, some great results from that, uh, a little bit higher price than what uh, we're seeing at the moment, but essentially an MPV 10 pre-tax pre-royalty of uh, 2.63 billion, I think it runs around about 2 billion at the moment. Uh, internal rate of return, 64%, three-year payback, 12-month uh, time to build and commission the plant. We modelled a 20-year mine life only. Uh, we didn't think we needed to go any further than that, but it only consumes about 25% of our resources as they stand at the moment. Uh, production on the 5 million tonne was about 1.1 million tonnes of 6% uh, concentrate, just under 5.8%, and we're uh, currently uh, optimising those figures a little bit further. Quality of the deposit, obviously we're looking at um, a large open pit, single open pit, 0.55 to 1 uh, waste strip ratio, uh, which is excellent. High feed grade of 1.58%, which we expect we will be able to um, improve on with the grade that we have at the moment. Uh, also, uh, very low deleterious elements within this uh, deposit. We've got uh, fluorine sitting at about 0.1%, phosphorus 0.3%. Iron uh, within the deposit itself is sitting at 0.96, but in the uh, concentrate is sitting around about 0.4, and mica is less than 2%, and in the concentrate around about 1%. So we've got a very good product at the end of the day. Uh, the 5 million tonne scoping study was based on a, um, a DMS and flotation circuit with an 80% recovery of material, estimated capex cost of somewhere between 380 and 400, with about a $75 million contingency. Uh, and we're looking at a Dar es Salaam FOB port, uh, $323 a tonne uh, cost. So we're, uh, we're improving on that at the moment with studies underway. So the DFS is in train at the moment. We're about 75, 80% of the way through. Uh, we're expecting that to be released to the market in uh, the first quarter of next year. Uh, but we are improving on some of these numbers. The, the whole plan for the company is to move in a staged fashion. Within the resources also we have 300,000 tonnes of tin, which probably makes us number three in the world on resources to jaw compliant uh, status. We also have some tantalum, which we're recovering a little bit of, but we also have some rare earths that we're uh, investigating as well. Within the uh, test work, we've completed uh, DMS 100. We've, we've initially HLS test work, just to clarify what we were looking at first. Uh, we've produced 3.35 uh, uh, mil crush size material at a 2.95 SG, uh, and we're producing circa 6% uh, lithium oxide uh, in a concentrate with, as you see there, uh, low iron, low mica, um, and low fluorine and phosphorus as well. Uh, we've progressed to the DMS 250 test work, which is more uh, akin to what we would find in the mining scenario. Uh, and those results are being verified as we speak and are very similar to what we're looking at for the DMS 100. We do have uh, further material uh, being put through further test work and we're hoping to produce uh, probably a 6.2% concentrate at the end of the day. Uh, we'll remove more of the iron and we'll remove more of the mica as well with uh, further test. Those uh, phase two test results should be out uh, before the end of this year as well. Um, obviously, just a couple of statements there on, on what we're looking at with uh, the conversion process. Uh, if you've got a, a high-grade, clean product to start off with, it makes it an easier product to put through a hydroxide or a, or a, um, a carbonate plant. And uh, obviously, we're, we're expecting the conversion plants should be matched to the resource, not the other way around. Uh, we're seeing a few issues with that in Western Australia. So as I said, a staged approach to, uh, to our operations. We are heading down the road of a DMS only uh, to start off with. Uh, we're uh, looking at low power consumption, a very simple flow sheet. Uh, it's, it's industry standard um, technology. 
Startup capital uh, for a 4.5 million tonne capacity plant, around about 350 million, including roughly 35, 40 million worth of uh, um, contingency, to produce approximately 750,000 tonnes of uh, concentrate of uh, SC6 and above. Uh, Three-staged expansion of the, uh, of the facility, so we'll be doing test work on the fines from the uh, DMS plant, uh, additional flotation circuit to be added as a second stage, and then we'll be looking to put a hydroxide plant on, uh, on this property as well. The uh, timeline we're looking at, uh, MET studies, obviously we're talking end of this year to dovetail into the feasibility study we're doing at the moment, uh, release that in quarter one, 2020, uh, a little bit of overrun there if we need it. Transport route we're investigating at the moment, uh, we've got a couple of transport consultants looking at the Tazara railway line and TRC railway lines to hook into what we want to do. Licensing, permitting and environmental, we don't think there's going to be any issues with that. The environmental studies have commenced and uh, the licensing and permitting will be a case of lodging the DFS with a bankable, with a, sorry, with a, a feasibility plan uh, for the project and we should be able to get that completed within six to uh, 12 weeks at the maximum. Detailed engineering procurement, offtake and financing are in process at the moment. Obviously with just a DMS plant, it's not going to be that, uh, that hard for the boys to do. Construction and commissioning, obviously 2021 is what we're targeting and we are looking to improve on this time scale as well. Where we've been spending a lot of time at the moment is engaging with, uh, with the government. We have uh, high hopes of being able to sign up the hydro uh, power facility down the road. It's about 82 kilometres to the southeast of us. Historically produced about 64, uh, sorry, 32 uh, megawatts of power, uh, which is more than enough for what we need to start off with. It needs refurbishing. Uh, but it can produce up to about 64%, uh, 64 megawatts as well. Um, we've had initial discussions with the government uh, looking to secure a PPP, a private par public partnership, and a special economic zone for, uh, for the uh, site, uh, which if we are successful in gaining that, and we believe we will be able to do it, uh, basically gives us a zero tax rating for 25 years. Uh, that's what we're looking to secure. So uh, part of that deal will be to go as green as possible with the, uh, with the hydropower we're looking to use electric uh, powered uh, um, shovels, trucks, um, the plant itself will all be run off uh, hydropower. The camp at the moment is running off uh, uh, solar power. And then we'll be throwing some of our money back into the ABZ Foundation, which we have set up to uh, um, assist the locals uh, with education, training uh, facilities on site as well. Um, that's uh, just where we're sitting with a statement basically and, and that's the presentation at the moment. We hope to have more information coming through with the DFS end of this year and uh, I would think uh, obviously quarter one of next year we'll be able to present that publicly. Thanks very much.